Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of the all? If you want to know who has the hottest face in China right now, you should keep watching. Now, this guy's name is Ding Zhen. You'd better remember, because he is a keeper. He has become the internet sensation for the past couple of weeks. He's literally trending everywhere. And so, in this video, we're going to take a look at how this 20-year-old Tibetan guy became the hottest face in China right now. He first gained his fame quite out of blue. He was taken by a photographer and posted online. And suddenly, people were just touched by his innocent smile and his rugged handsomeness. I guess people just get tired of the fair, good-looking guy with their, you know, dramatic, expensive hairstyle. His innocent look just to give us a fresh take on what the beauty is. And he redefined his beauty as someone who comes from a rural place. Alright, he is fairly good looking and got that innocent smile we all appreciate. But why is he trending all the time? Well, it's all started with his Tibetan identity. Obviously, he's wearing a Tibetan costume. And that led to a lot of people believe he's actually come from Tibet. However, his real hometown actually come from Litang, a small county located in Sichuan province. That's when Sichuan media came to clarify, hey, Ding Zhen is actually come from Sichuan Yao. And Tibet Daily took this opportunity and saying, we welcome you to Tibet anytime. Because Ding Zhen said during an interview saying, he would love to visit Lhasa one day. Now, after that, Ding Zhen, you can see this photo here. He is holding a picture saying Hong Tong in Sichuan. This later on became an internet meme. A lot of the medias from different provinces are sending their invitations to Ding Zhen in a way to say, hey, come to Beijing. Hey, come to Shandong province. Hey, come here. We welcome you. But this has become a lot of fun when all the provinces across China are literally snatching Ding Zhen, hoping he can be their travel ambassador. So what happens to Ding Zhen afterwards? Now he's gaining his fame. A lot of agencies reach out to him and say, hey, do you want to sign up as one of our artists? And lucky for him, he is able to actually decline those offers and became a travel ambassador in his own hometown. Why am I saying lucky for him? Because let's be honest, he has good looks, but to be an artist or especially in the entertainment field, you have to be good at doing certain things, right? But for Ding Zhen, due to the lack of proper education, he's actually still working on his Mandarin, not to mention some special talented skills. He has right now is an innocent face, but we can't guarantee he will have a long career in the entertainment industry. So a lot of people actually feel a lot of reassured when they heard Ding Zhen doesn't sign up with any of these entertainment agencies. Anyway, the good news for Ding Zhen is right now he has a job, he has a real job to do. And Sichuan province is also welcoming their Tibetan anchor, which is Ding Zhen. Ding Zhen is going to join them in the show and work as an ambassador to promote the local travel, which is a great thing for his hometown, because his hometown was just lifted out of poverty in this February. So his sudden fame has actually brought a lot of exposure to the local tourism, and we wish him all the best in the future. Thank you for watching. I'm Stephanie. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.